Good afternoon, everybody. I had a terrible work day. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but it's we, over. Yeah, we had a late night with the babe. Yeah, I don't think we went to bed till four. Yeah. Well, like we said, we've had a really good track record in this four months of being alive. Right. So we can't really complain, but we did have a rough night. Yeah. Um, so we had a late start for us. I feel like the day just went by so fast, but we're so happy because we're walking to the car to go and meet Angela and our nephews. I mean, James is meeting them for the very first time. So. Yeah. It's going to be a very fun evening. And we're getting and we're breakfast for dinner. Breakfast from dinner from one of our favorite Evergreen Park diners. Yeah. And then I think... We're gonna pull in even the uh, rain and the non-vegan eating outside of home. <laughs> well, like I feel like we're finally like right. we still have a lot of family to meet, but now it's not like we're rushing to meet everybody. The second it's not a huge event now. Right. Now it's like we're finally beginning to have that wind down. Right. Settle in. Settling in. Normalcy. Unfinished packing more. Right. Our, Our new car normal. Is so dirty. Our car's filthy. <laughs> degrees out today and My it's only Steve. <laughs> he still Tampa. lives in Tampa he still lives in Tampa and he's still your buddy he sent me a, uh, a picture of him kicking his feet up in his backyard with a cup of Joan and Mickey mug and said it's 65 and beautiful wow like, that's crazy because at the time it was 61 in Chicago crazy crazy so the breakfast diner that we ordered from is called the Yali's it's on 95th in California if anyone is in the area so so yummy we got skillets and the kicker is to get the salsa there it's so so good also the little baby fell asleep here we are beautiful 95th street that's the new gas station that grant and i filled up the the big u-haul in and i like thought about reversing it all kinds of crazy ways but here's bialy's cafe with their decorations and everything best skillet in all of the midwest I feel like you can't beat this classic diner with its candy yeah, display in the front and it's just like classic cheesy decorations. It's the best. Oh, you know. Just, you think we have enough food? Just a little bit of food. <laughs> and they had a fresh pot of coffee, so I just had to get one. Oh my goodness. Look at this. That is a diner size of Joe right there. Full cup of Joe, freshly brewed. Taking photos over there. Oh my gosh, Peter and I both got house skillets. Oh my gosh. Dom got a breakfast burrito. That looks good. Oh, come on. You and Jackson are gonna share. You guys got pancakes, you got an omelet, and hash browns. Delicious. Can you meet your Auntie Angela? Oh my gosh. Look at his cubby he's shirt. It's the first time he's wearing this today. Yeah. He is eyeing you. He's like, hey, who's that cool dude over there? <laughs> hey guys, so we are eating dinner right now. We have a Almost all done. I had a skillet. <laughs> you're famous! And you're famous! And you're famous! And you're famous! I can't see him, but there's Peter. There he is. Oh, he just got stuck! My garden! Did you give him your Hulk to play with? Yep. That's so nice of you. Who do you got? I'm Mm-hmm. I'm Captain America. This can't talk. Wow. His head's so soft. <laughs> Are you proud? Yeah. You like 
like all the boys? Jackson, be careful. I don't want you to ask for me at all, okay? I got you. <laughs> He's telling you all about his day. He said, I have a dog. It was sunny. My dad worked. How do you know? I was with him. <laughs> Look at that. He wants to sit up. He hold him on his, like, around his waist. There you go. It's okay. Well, if you want red underneath his pits, that's a good spot, too. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Look at See, that. Cheese. All these kids are so big. Hi. I'm just vlogging on Sarah's phone. And, uh, I just like kind of decided to. Like, I kind of decided just to play like this game called Prodigy. It's not. It's not. This video isn't sponsored. Friend, but um, I just wanted to do this before they leave and stuff like that. I don't know what to say because I haven't been on the vlog that much because they just moved back to Chicago. Um, I could speed this up a little bit. Uh, we could make it like a little time lapse. So uh, go by Aunt Sarah. Okay, go by Aunt Sarah. Do a little transition. Take this grainy dark shot to let you know. Taking Eve on a little walk, and I in fact got a parking spot. Second time this week, where I can see my car from our like sunroom window. Boo, yeah. And I was actually like a game of chicken. Like I was waiting for this car that I think was like a DoorDash person to leave. And there was this other car that I think was also DoorDash or Uber Eats. I don't want to discriminate on which one it could have been. I was like, are they there for delivery or are they waiting to take that spot? Hello friends, we are home. We are actually going to go to bed before midnight. Um, this has been like a really transitional period of time for us. Obviously, most of our vlogs right now have been meeting family members and just getting settled and there is so much more to come with our everyday life and exploring and whatnot. So we really appreciate you guys loving these videos we're putting out, but it's cool that they truly are for our memory of the special time of, of James meeting so many important people. Anyway, I am digressing. We did a lot of talking tonight, um, just about our new um, routines and whatnot here and we really do want to prioritize sleep. I benefited from it so much during my pregnancy um, along with acupuncture and again like once life gets back to normal those types of things will be back in effect. Um, but yeah we're gonna go to bed early tonight and we're gonna feel good about it. The day is coming to an end. <laughs> The washer just scared the daylights out of me. Um, I figured we'd finally tell you about the running challenge that I have not been um, super good at the past like four or five days, but tomorrow's a new leaf. I'm eating at home a little more besides like, like now that we've had our first round of like family visits, like it's not gonna be as much like we're going to the special eating place where people are cooking dinner. And that's still gonna happen with family and holidays and being in this beautiful city. Um, but the priority for like the next week is going to shift back to us going downtown and us unpacking, but my running is also going to become the switch because with us going to bed earlier, we're going to start prioritizing sleep more. The Brookharts are going to give this a whirl again, but it's the first time we're doing this with a baby. So, um, I think now that he's getting older that we might, it might align with him which is the smart thing to do, I believe. Um, I think of like Carolyn Earhart who goes to bed early and gets up super early to do like Peloton and stuff. Um, so if I can do that, but be on the lakefront at 5.36 in the morning, that'd be incredible. 
Um, but this is all to be because I'm supposed to be logging in as many miles as I can for this challenge called Miles for Meaning. And it's not a specific fundraiser. Like, you can donate um, to ACS. We always have that page open. Um, but this is a challenge that there's 1,000 or 2,000. There's a bunch of teams that are that are taking the challenge. And what it is, is it's the entire month of March, the most, the team with the most miles clocked. And that's not just like your steps on your watch or something. It has to be an activity. Like if you go for a three mile walk, you can't just, it's not just going to clock on your phone. You have to like start your Garmin or start an Apple activity or an Android activity and end it. So it fully matches it. Um, the team with the most miles in the month of March will get $25,000 donated to their charity team that they're on. So I'm one of 100 athletes on the ACS team um, adding miles. And we're doing well as a team. I know. I think last time I looked, we were in second place. Um, but I have not been carrying my weight. But that's that's not to say that I'm not going to. We were asked to run at least five miles a day or log in at least five miles a day. Um, and now that we've clarified that, like, if Sarah and I go for a walk downtown and put in five miles of just walking around the river or lakefront or in and out of stores if i start that as an activity that will co go towards a challenge and that's what our like team leader is advising all of us to do if you're like us walking to christine and grants i think it's 0.6 miles away or 0.4 miles away like start your garmin and get that 0.4 mile credit because you're doing it um and it's like all around getting acs is twenty five thousand dollars um so that's what the challenge is but tomorrow morning like Barring James going and having a good night's sleep, us going to bed this early will hopefully mean easier waking up. If not, it's going to be the beginning of the transition for the Brookharts to be waking up early um, because it was easy in Disney to go out for 40 minutes at Epcot or Magic Kingdom. And so, like, if we slept in and we pushed back our afternoon and our list of things we needed to do and we got to Disney Springs for 40 minutes or Epcot for 40 minutes... Just all of those things. Like, there, there's more constraints. Like, Sarah and I, like, we make the ordinary extraordinary. But that does take effort. And living here in Chicago, near our wonderful family and friends, and all the fun that this, this environment offers, is just takes focusing your energy, energy differently. And I think a key to unlocking that is to finally have the catalyst for us to go to bed early and then wake up earlier. There's my soapbox. Look at this guy. He's in six month jammies. They are a bit big, but he's finally taken the leap from zero to three to three to six. These are these are full on six. So I am just in our bedroom getting him situated for bed um, while Peter wraps up out in the living room. Um, but he is actually in a, a, this, a smaller percentile for his weight um but so he fits into zero to three clothes but his like arms and legs are starting to get too long like his pants are capris and his shirts are getting <laughs> like the the sleeves don't go all the way down to his wrists um so he is a pretty tiny guy with just a big noggin um but now we're like getting into a new box of clothes and as much as i'm like holy smokes you're growing so fast knock it off it is so exciting he's just i truly mean it when i am so excited for every single stage of his life um i don't know i'm still just honored i get to do this mom thing at all so it's pretty cool all right march 8th oh look at that almost coming up on my 13 year anniversary of my back surgery March 8th by Havis. An awake heart is like a sky that pours light. That's a little of a quirky one, but I like it. You have an interesting name, person. Contrary to other sign-offs, this has to be short because I just soapboxed for over four minutes. <laughs> you did? It's good to be oh home. Oh my goodness, it's good to be home.
We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.